Patrick, it does. Parents told us here tonight that those alternative lunches generally include peanut butter sandwiches and milk, which is different than the normal lunch. At a meeting here at District HQ, though, the school board and the district say that they want to get rid of them. Is there anybody who is opposed to this new policy? Let's put it like that. So that was an unofficial straw poll showing unanimous support for the policy change. It would allow kids with negative balances to still get a normal lunch. And as you saw there, it will likely pass during next month's board meeting. This plan started with the Cudahy parent who says his daughter noticed kids with different lunches at school. Do you think there's any stigma attached to kids who have alternative lunches at school? Absolutely is there a stigma. Uh, I consider it lunch shaming. Uh, we have good members of our school district, uh, good members on the board. Uh, this is not intentional, but it is shaming a child. The alternate lunch policy was an easy decision to say, you know what, we'll just let those balances accrue and we'll deal with that another way. And I think that that was just a general a general food service policy that we inherited and nobody really questioned um, and so when it was brought to light again we said you know what we don't have to do it that way Ben let's talk about the cost how would the district pay for this well, Patrick, the district said there are some options. They could send some of those accounts into collections or the district itself could absorb those negative balances. They're going to be taking a look at all of that as this plan rolls out again, if it does pass. But they did stress here tonight that kids would not be involved in any of that collection process. Ben Wagner reporting live in Cudahy tonight.